So you want to create amazingly looking realistic human portraits, but you know, without paying that $10 every time to use mid journey for that. So worry no more because in this video, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to the best free mid journey alternative, which is playground AI. So playground AI can seamlessly create amazingly looking realistic human portraits, which can be as good as mid journey and sometimes even better as well. But you know, what's the best Part, it is it's absolutely free you don't have to pay anything to get started with that so you know without further ado let's just go ahead and create images with playground ai and compare them with the mid journey ones just to see how good this ai tool is all right guys so here i am in the home page of playground.ai so you guys can see we have a very cool looking interface where we have Plenty of options to create AI images. So first of all, we have the option of filter where you can go ahead and choose a multiple style of images right over here. Then we have the option of prompt. Then we have the option to expand prompts. So you can basically go ahead and use AI to improve short prompts and get new image style ideas. So you know, let's just say you're not good at prompting, right? So now with this option, Playground AI is gonna help you develop that prompt and create the best looking shots for you without even mastering uh, the prompt engineering, all right? Then you have the option of negative prompt as well. From where, if you select custom, so now you can add the things that you don't want in the image, like ugly, deformed, noisy, blur, distorted, and something like that. And you have the option of image to image generation. And yeah, we have a few of the more parameters right over here. All right, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and see how beautifully uh, the Playground AI can create the ultra realistic human portraits, right? We're gonna compare them with Mid Journey. So for that, there are a few settings that you need to turn on that you need to make sure in order to create ultra realistic images. So first of all, you need to go to your presets option right over here, and you need to select this preset, okay? Realistic portraits. This is like a stable diffusion XL uh, preset. It is really, really good uh, for human portraits. And as soon as you will click on this, so yeah, uh, your filter is selected on a real vision XL, right? So you need to make sure this is turned on. And yeah, first of all, it has basically kind of provided us a sample prompt, which is portrait of a seasoned fisherman with weather skin, deep wrinkles, and all those important details. And yeah, after that, you need to make sure that your expand prompt option is turned off because, you know, we want to go ahead and create the exact same things that is mentioned in our prompt. We don't, we don't want to change our prompt, right? So if you're very good with the prompting in AI art generation, you can uh, easily turn off this option. So let's just see if you are not good uh, with your prompts, you can turn this on as per your liking. But for me, I'm going to keep this uh, turned off. And after that, everything is going to be the same. You can choose your image dimensions. So yeah, uh, I'm going to select 1024 uh, into 1024. Okay, this looks good. And rest of other things going to be the same. Okay, so first of all, let's just go ahead and go with this sample prompt and see our output, like how it's going to be. We can also go ahead and test the speed. Okay, so uh, it went ahead and start creating uh, the four generations for us because, you know, I selected four as my number of images. So let's just see how much time it's going to take uh, to create these images. All right, so it took around like 30 to 35 seconds to create these four generations, which is really good considering that this is a free AI tool. And to mention that, it basically allows you to create 100 images per day, which is really, really fantastic, right? So let's just go ahead and check out the generations. Wow, this is really, really good. Like, check out the detail into that. Uh, the hair, the skin color, uh, the shirt, everything looks absolutely fantastic. If you see the second image, so yeah, like really, really nice detail in the images. It's really up to the mark. And similarly, the third one as well. And the fourth one, yeah, the images, all of these images look absolutely perfect. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and create some more human portraits in some more ways. And let's just compare them to Mid Journey and see whether this tool justifies as a free Mid Journey alternative or not, okay? So we're gonna jump into the conclusion after this comparison, okay? All right, so for that, uh, these are a few of my creations, few of the human portraits that I created uh, with Mid Journey. So this is the prompt of that. So I'm gonna take the same prompt, uh, which is basically the image of Mid Journey. I'm gonna insert it uh, in my Playground AI. So this is my uh, image in mid journey. I'm going to take this from come to my playground AI and paste it right over here and just simply click on generate. Okay. 
All right, so it took around like 30 seconds, uh, which is really, really nice. It's really fast. So these are the generations, okay? Uh, the first one, I'm not sure, uh, like the detail in the skin. Uh, the skin looks really, really dull. Uh, but the second one, yeah, this looks really, really good. It's really sharp and it's really to the point. And the third one, yeah, this looks really, really good as well. And the fourth one, uh, nah, I, I, I don't like this image. Uh, because it looks some kind of AI generated. Uh, there is some kind of deformation in the eyes, I guess. But if you go ahead and compare uh, that to the mid-journey image, so yeah, clearly you guys can see I'm um, very much liking the playground AI generation like more than the mid-journey one, right? So this is kind of irony, but yeah, mid-journey, uh, it did kind of a really nice with the lighting and everything. But uh, if you talk about the sharpness of the image, so yeah, playground image looks really, really sharp, really to the mark. So yeah, you can clearly say uh, that the playground AI competes with mid-journey without any doubt, okay? All right, so now let's just go ahead and test this out with some other uh, image generation. So I'm going to take this image. So this is a close-up portrait of a woman at a coin cafe in Paris. She's engrossed in a book and all those details. Let's just copy this from. Come to playground AI and paste it right over here, okay? Simply click on generate and wait for the output, okay? All right, so it's done with our four generations really, really fast. And if I quickly go ahead and compare that uh, with the mid-journey one. So mid-journey output is really subtle, uh, really, really good. But if you talk about the creation of Playground AI, so I didn't do a bad job over here. But yeah, I can clearly say uh, that the mid-journey one looks better, right? All right, so now let's just go ahead and test out with some another image, one more image. So I'm going to take this uh, portrait which is a portrait of a jazz musician lost in his music during a live performance. I'm going to copy his prompt, come to Playground AI and paste it right over here. All right, simply uh, click on Generate and wait for the output, all right? All right, wow, the generations were really, really fast. And take a look at these outputs, right? These look absolutely perfect to the point. No deformation whatsoever, uh, no compromise in the clarity. It looks really, really good. And if you compare that, uh, to the mid-journey one. So clearly you guys can see it is competing with the mid-journey output. Uh, it's really up to the mark, really, really close uh, to what mid-journey provided us. So you can say that uh, this is a perfect alternative uh, to mid-journey right over here, right? All right, so let's take this image right over here. So this is basically a portrait of a man sitting by a campfire in a close-up shot at a composite in Yosemite National Park. Let's just go ahead and copy this prompt. Come to uh, Playground AI and paste it right over here. So you guys can see right over here, uh, the images turned out really, really good to the mark. And yeah, it's really much competing. Uh, the Mid Journey ones, Mid Journey has its own vibe, own style. Uh, but not to deny, the Playground AI did absolutely fantastic job over here, right? Okay, next, I'm going to go ahead and take this image, this prompt, a fashion shot of a model walking down the runway, looking at the camera. So I'm going to take this from right over here, copy come to Playground AI and paste it right over here. Let's just click on Generate and wait for uh, the output, okay? So, wow, take a look at these images, right? These are looking absolutely perfect. Like, check out how much realistic this is. So this is our second generation. This is the third one. Uh, we have the fourth one. All of these look great. So these are basically the fashion photographies, right? And yeah, like Playground AI absolutely nailed them, right? So if you compare them, uh, with the mid-journey ones. So mid-journey ones uh, look really, really subtle, not great, but over here, we can clearly say uh, that Playground AI did absolutely fantastic job, right? All right, so now last but not least, let's just take this portrait of a chef in his kitchen in a close-up shot. Let's just copy this prompt, uh, come to Playground AI and paste our prompt right over here. Let's just generate and just compare the results with the mid-journey one. Okay, wow, well, take a look at these generations. This is the first one. Then we have the second one, then the third, then the fourth. So yeah, wow, this one looks really, really good to the mark, right? Yeah, mid-journey, yeah, not too bad, but I must say I'm really much impressed with the playground AI generations over here, right? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of the free uh, mid-journey alternative, which is playground AI. We went ahead and saw how basically this tool is uh, very close to mid-journey and better in some ways as well. So yeah, I hope you like this quick comparison for our ultra-realistic human portraits. And I hope to see you in some other video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.